But first, a tri-state baby brought into the world before his parents could even leave home. Hear how this holiday birth took everyone by surprise. That's next at 530. All right, Jim, a Green Township couple celebrating the 4th in a special way today. Yeah, welcoming a child into the family this morning, but the uh, little boy made quite an entrance here, and only with the help of some nearby neighbors. Brian Hamrick is live with details on this. Brian? Well, this baby has something in common with George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, something most people can't say these days. Not only an appreciation for the 4th of July, but well, they were all born at home. While most were celebrating the birth of a nation, it was the birth of Aiden Feely that created the fireworks for his family. My mom was coming in to watch my other boys, and as she was coming, I said, you better call 911. We have a baby coming. Like a revolutionary general, Aiden used the element of surprise. And here in the Feely garage is where his parents learned they had a pregnancy on a short fuse. I mean, there wasn't even time to be nervous about it or anything, it just happened. But things got dicey when the umbilical cord appeared to be around the baby's neck. Oh my God, it's coming. Oh my God. Oh. It cords around his neck, what do we do? She sort of came down and, and unwrapped it and I, I was, well, I was on my knees at the time. Well, my husband did very well and <laughs> Meanwhile, like maternity Minutemen, these neighbors jumped into action to help. The pharmacist, Greg Young. Uh-oh, we've got more than what we bargained for here. And OBGYN, Dr. Steve Kleeman. Hey, this is the kind of emergency we can handle. We don't want anything else because we wouldn't know what to do. So now, baby Adrian Feely, the youngest of three boys, will give his parents and the neighborhood one more thing to celebrate every 4th of July. And that's baby Aiden. He was born right there between the UC flag and a minivan. No word yet on what the feelies are going to do for Labor Day. Reporting live with the news comes first, Brian Hamrick, News 5. I think this was actually Labor Day, yeah, if I'm I not mistaken. So too. Oh, that was Little, impressive. Aiden is very, very sweet. Brian, thank you. He looks so calm and cool and collected <laughs> after know. all that. I going know. through that. A story you'll see only on five. One tri-state couple, the proud parents of a bouncing baby boy tonight. Yeah, but this was not your typical birth here. The little guy causing uh, his own fireworks of sorts. And tonight, News 5's Brian Hamrick spoke to the family. He is live tonight with their story. Brian? Well, it was in this very garage that a baby and a 4th of July celebration was born. So, what's all the excitement? Baby Aiden Feely is maybe the only one who didn't get worked up from his dad. It was all shock. To mom. You better call 911, because this one's coming now. To grandmother. We have a baby coming. While others were celebrating the fourth, it was here in the garage that the Feelys found it was the pregnancy on a short fuse. And these fireworks got the entire neighborhood involved, like maternity minute men. And that's when Jen said, here's the head. And I said, uh-oh. We've got more than what we bargained for here. Fortunately, an OBGYN lives two doors down. Dr. Steve Kleeman is the MacGyver of baby doctors. They said, uh, Jen's going to deliver a baby in, in the garage. And they said, what do you need? And I said, really, just a shoestring and a scissors. They said, no, no water, no uh, towels. I said, no, just a shoestring and a scissors. After tying up the loose ends, baby Aiden was fine. Now giving the feelies and the neighborhood, something new to celebrate. I'll never forget this one as long as I live, that's for sure. In this neighborhood, the 4th of July is now about more than the birth of a nation. We really have good neighbors. I knew that before this, but I couldn't thank them. I just couldn't thank them enough. And the neighborhood has a message for the feelies out here. What is it? Happy birthday, Aiden! Now there's a neighborhood that pulls together. Reporting live for the News Comes First, Brian Hamrick, News 5. Now a story you saw first on five, a local family turns the 4th of July weekend into Labor Day. Yeah, their new baby uh, celebrating his independence by entering the world in a special way. And News 5's Brian Hamrick joins us with more. Well, this baby has something in common with our forefathers like Abraham Lincoln and George Washington. Not only an appreciation for the 4th of July, but, well, they were all born at home. While most were celebrating the birth of a nation, 
It was the birth of Aiden Feely that created the fireworks for his family. My mom was coming in to watch my other boys, and as she was coming, I said, you better call 911. We have a baby coming. Like a revolutionary general, Aiden used the element of surprise. And here in the Feely garage is where his parents learned they had a pregnancy on a short fuse. I mean, there wasn't even time to be nervous about it or anything. It just happened. But things got dicey when the umbilical cord appeared to be around the baby's neck. Oh, my God, is this coming? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it cords around his neck. What do we do? She sort of came down and, and unwrapped it, and I, I was, well, I was on my knees at the time. Well, my husband did very well, and... <laughs> Meanwhile, like maternity Minutemen, these neighbors jumped into action to help. The pharmacist, Greg Young. Uh-oh, we've got more than what we bargained for here. And OBGYN, Dr. Steve Kleeman. Hey, this is the kind of emergency we can handle. We don't want anything else because we wouldn't know what to do. So now, baby Adrian Feely, the youngest of three boys, will give his parents and the neighborhood one more thing to celebrate every 4th of July. And baby Aiden was born right here between the UC flag and the minivan that was right here. Now, he's the third child. The first one, three days in labor. The second one, 24 hours. And this one, well, you might say, well, they brought their average down considerably. Where the news comes first, Brian Hamrick, News 5. And now, the Tri-State's Undisputed.